Okay, what we have here is your typical brake pad set up for riding mower. It works by having this spring called this lever, pushes this thing in right here, and it moves this plate that has this little brake pad on top of it. And what we've got right here is it's been sitting up for a while. And then underneath here, okay, let's just see if it's straight up. There it goes. There's this uh, little metal plate. And as you can see, the little uh, things that go up and down are all corroded. And that's why it's not working is because even though the spring's pushing on it, the little two pistons in there, see them? They need to go up and down. So, we're going to spray it with some uh, penetrating oil, some PV blaster, see if we can get it going. Now, you want to work on that, clean it up after you get it going. You do not want to get PV blaster, of course, on the brake shoes. And you can see this brake shoe has still got life left in it. Okay, so we're going to try and free that up, but that's how that works. Alright, we're going to put some spray in it. And next thing you see, we'll see if we got it going. Okay. okay, so I put some PB Blaster down in here. Come on over here, Charlie. Okay. And I let it sit for a minute or two. So while we're coming, grab that. Take a picture if you got it, like that. And so you want to just come on over in here. These were what the things are for work the brake back and forth. So I'm coming right in here. And we're gonna, there it goes, just unstuck it. See how it went up? That's supposed to push again. We're gonna push it back down. We're gonna get it so there's some, there you go, we're working. All right, let's go to the other one over here. See how the PB Blaster's already leaked down, guys? See how there? PB Blaster's good shit. Push that, oh, that one went up and down pretty easy. Okay, so there you go. Now, let's just see. Now you should be able to just move this lever. Yep, see how that moves them going in and out? See, and then it'll push back against it. There you go. So that pretty much solved the problem. And then we'll put it back together again. We're going to uh, take the rest of the PB Blaster out of there. You got that, um, we need a rag. But um, anyway, then you put this plate back on there, of course, right? And then we're going to stick this on there, but we're going to take the excess PB blaster out of it. All right. And so that's it. That's how you unstick your brake. And you can see now this little thing will go up and down now. All right. So now, hold on. I don't want to get PB blaster on my brake pad. That's bad. So you want to clean this all up. Pass, and it, it actually should run without... A bunch of oil like how it's all oily you do that you'll get oil on the pad and you won't be able to stop because of that all right 